Today I'm testing my new jump pack. Uh, I bought it on eBay for £31 and a few pence and um, let's see what it can do. It's a very comprehensive bit of kit you get. This is the power pack itself and you've got various wires to plug into various phones and note the jump leads. Hmm. This is the unit itself and um, so you've got a master switch power button and you can change the voltage of the output plug and then you can plug in loads of adapters. Um, I can charge my wife's laptop off this pack. I can't charge my own, it hasn't got the right plug. Um, so it's just a case of turning it on, pressing the button and there you go. I can press that again to change the voltage I want. Um, you can see three illuminated lights there. The, this one has gone out so the battery has been used somewhat. If I press and hold that button I get a very very powerful torch and that really is good and because it's such a big battery it lasts for a very long time. If you're feeling particularly adventurous you can um, change the type of effects you're getting so if you feel like a bit of a disco raver woo then you can do that or alternatively you can turn it off. So it comes with this lead, which allows you to plug it into the cigarette lighter, so that means you can keep the battery topped up at all times. Although they reckon that even if you're jump-starting cars, you should be able to jump-start several. Now there's an important thing to note here, and that's the peak current of 400 amps. Is that really enough to start a diesel? So can this tiny jump pack start a Citroen XM diesel? You'll note I've disconnected the battery, so it's just relying on that now. Go and start the engine. Well, we've certainly got ignition lights. It's a pretty good start. No. So we've discovered this box cannot start a big diesel engine. It might still help a battery that's just a bit weak, so it's not necessarily the end of the world. I'm not going to try it on something a bit smaller. This time we'll try the same trick on the little Perodua nipper. It only has a dinky little battery anyway. So just to confirm, both the terminals of the car's own battery have been removed. And let's see. Got the ignition lights. Brilliant! So this tiny, tiny, lightweight jump pack is enough to start this little petrol engine. Now we just need to find something in between this and um, the, the XM. This is only an 847cc engine, so that's very small. Um, so I need to find something that comes in between. So now we have a slightly larger engine, a 1.6 litre Mazda 2. Quite a rare car actually. Connect the pack up, stop that. Right, let's give it a go. Voila! 1.6 litre engine started, no problem at all. A really useful thing about these battery packs is that you can keep a continuous supply on the car while you change the battery. And for most of my rubbish cars, that's not an issue, but some cars, ECUs, can get upset and it can throw a number of hissy fits if you disconnect or flatten the battery. Range Rover P38 spring to mind just at the moment. But as you'll see here, I've got the hazard lights going on the nipper at the moment. I've got my pack connected up. It's connected to both terminals. If I pull that terminal off the battery, so that's now off and the indicators continue to flash away because my battery pack is now providing the power. So if you've got one of those stroppy cars, it's a very safe way of changing the battery. That's a very useful feature.